Hi, my name, uh, my name is Dina, and uh, I'm Cambodian uh, Ari, and um, I teach at the uh, ISPP and uh, at the uh, of Natu. And uh, I'm a painter and a sculptor. Good afternoon. It's a privilege to be here. The title of the talk is called The Art of Virtual Obsolescence. I was kind of scratching your head wondering what that's about, but I want to talk about uh, creativity and barriers to creativity, and then how you can overcome those barriers, and how you can overcome uh, barriers to entry of creativity, OK? And we're going to share some of our experiences of how we overcame barriers to being creative. So first of all, I want to ask everybody a question. When was the last time you were creative? <laughs> and that was just a few moments ago. But before that, when were, you, when were you last creative, right? It's a good feeling, drawing and uh, creating and painting and using your imagination, right? So just think about that for a moment. When was the last time you were creative? Now, there's probably some barriers to you being creative, but let's talk about inspiration first. Myself and Dina, we, we volunteer and we teach art to children in Cambodia, um, ranging from four years old to about 18 years old. And this is some of the children being creative. And this is where we get our inspiration from, because they're the young Cambodians. And it really warms my heart when I see them creating something big, painting on a wall, and just using their imagination and being creative, right? So think about the last time you were creative. Maybe you built a sand castle at the beach. Maybe you painted with your hands, as mentioned in the last talk. You know, playing and being creative at the same time, OK? This is where we get our inspiration from, too. From Piep Tar and, and Lisa Mom and other Cambodian artists, right? Amazing work. And I know they're at the simulcast, so thank you, Lisa and, and Piep. Earlier this morning, we heard about other inspiration that you can get, inspiration we can use here in Cambodia, Anchor Wat, the people around us. Um, so, so have a think about that, how you, how you can be more creative. So we want everyone to think big, right? And a lot of the discussion today has been about, about thinking out of the box. And as someone said to me earlier on, they said, oh, there's no box, <laughs> which is good. So. We want you to think big. So we had to question ourselves. Myself, Dean, we're, we're teaching art. And we, we thought, well, we want to be more creative. So some of you might recognize what this is. It's a, it's a cave painting from 10,000 years ago. So humans were very creative. And I believe this is actually uh, quite large. I know there's, other, there's, there's paintings in Europe and Africa and probably all over the world that are, are just as old as this. So humans were very creative. And then kind of along the way, we stopped painting on walls this big, right? So thank goodness for Lisa and Mom and, and, and other artists uh, peep, sorry, uh, creating large pieces of artwork on walls for everyone to see. So let's try and start doing more of this. So we got to explore, right, to be creative. So we went on an exploration. We wanted to see how we could create something different. Take it further than just painting on walls. So we decided to explore digital media. And we're in Cambodia. So we didn't have access to really expensive projectors. I went looking for a drawing tablet. I couldn't find one. You've got to get it chipped in from abroad. So we sat down together and we thought, well, we're, we're really restricted to what we do. We, we can't, our barrier to entry, to being creative digitally here, it's, we felt, you know, 
kind of claustrophobic. It was like, we can't do anything. How are we going to afford this? We need like $1,000 for a projector. We need to buy a tablet. We need to get licensed software. We need to buy a supercomputer. All of those things, OK? So that's what stopped us. So what's stopping you being creative? And it doesn't need to just be about drawing or painting. It could be cooking tonight when you get home, or, or being creative in work, or being creative in play. So sharing our experience of how we overcame our barrier to creating digital art was this. We recycled. We used the equipment and the resources that we had access to. And you're probably wondering what the correlation is, but what Dina is painting on right now, we've actually built ourselves. The projector that she's using is not a normal projector. You can see it here. It's an overhead projector, OK? So Pan Sak, this morning, we talked to him a number of weeks ago at a, at a TED, TED preparation meeting, and he said something really interesting. Um, he said many interesting things, but one of the things that I remember that related to this talk, he said, you know, you've got to change technology to fit the culture, not change culture to fit technology. So that's what we're trying to do here. We've got limited resources. We've got limited finances. We want to paint on walls virtually like this. Create something like Pia and Lisa created, but we want to do it digitally. So how do we do that? Well, I don't want to bore you with the nerdy, nerdy things, but some of you might recognize this as an interactive whiteboard. Yeah, it could be. But when's the last time you saw one of these, an overhead projector? We went looking for one of these, and we found them. And people thought that we were crazy that we wanted them. They were actually in a shed out the back, and they said, they don't work. You don't want that. We're throwing that out. That probably doesn't even work. We said, no, please, can we have it? And they just laughed at us. They handed it to us, and they let us take it away. Uh, this is a 15-inch is a monitor. I know most people are, they, they want to wait until, until they have the technology, a 21-inch screen or a 25-inch screen or something like that. Don't wait around for it. What we did is we took one of these apart. We took the screen out of it and we placed it on top of the overhead projector, OK? So we created a homemade, a homemade projector, OK? Now, yeah, a $1 torch, a couple of LEDs. Now, you're probably wondering what I'm, uh, what I'm talking about. Just quickly, can I have the screen as well? So we pop, took the screen out of that, popped the back off. You can come up here and have a look at it later, just lying on top of the overhead projector. We had another barrier. We were unable to find the little lights that Dina is painting with right now. So I said, oh, we, we can't do this project. We're, we're not. So we drove around town one day, and we, we called into a security shop with security cameras. And I, and I, told, the, I told the man inside there exactly what we wanted to do. I think, I think he probably thought we were crazy as well. And he actually gave me this. I don't know whether you can see it or not. <clears throat> it's a little infrared light that is used in a security camera. And he gave it to me for free. So we took some parts off of that. And that's those little, little gadgets there. And it's probably better explained. It's just the same thing that's inside a remote control. All right? So the only other thing that we had to buy was the Wii controller, which is $25. So we were able to create an interactive virtual spray painting wall. In fact, Dina can select a number of different brushes, pastel, oil, spray paints, different colors. So you can see it in operation there. So for about $50, we created that. So that's our experience of how we overcame the barrier to entry and how we, we finally became creative with digital art. So you're probably wondering where we got the idea from. It's a former TED, uh, a previous TED speaker, 
Johnny Chung Lee, who is a researcher. I saw one of his videos online, and it was, um, it was about using the Wii controller um, just to detect points on the screen. So I got his idea, and I merged it with this, with this recycling of obsolete technology. So maybe this will help in bridging the digital divide, using the resources available to us, thinking up of new creative ideas of innovating with the technology that we have available to us. So it can apply to anything. Right now it's applying to, to Dina and myself creating art. So our message is to be creative and think big and think differently and overcome those barriers that you have, whether it's fear or whether it's you know, a barrier that, that you just can't seem to get around. Just try and traverse that and get around that barrier and be creative. Thank you very much. It comes around.